The minister visited ongoing road construction and maintenance sites in the Kavango East and Rundu Town in particular. Rundu Semnyoma Drive, which runs through the town from Sawiyema to Safari and Kehemu suburbs, was one of those roads Motorwa was not happy to see. The street has become a danger to road users due to extensive potholes. So here I must be strong on this issue. Because at the end of the day, if this matter is not properly clarified, who's getting the blame? It's not me as an individual, it's not you as an individual, it's the government. Government, we are being neglected, nothing is happening here, and so forth and so on. He urged the council to plan ahead and tap into the expertise of the roads authority and the financial support of the RFA to improve the condition of its roads. But you have an existing contract, all that uh, as a minister of transport and as a resident of Rundu, me, want to see. Let's see better things there and follow their advice. Our FA Chief Executive Officer Ali Ipinge said the fund allocated $5.5 million to the Rundu Town Council. Ipinge committed the fund to support the council on the Semnyoma Drive provided it appoints a reputable contractor and engineer to execute the project. And as we are driving, I was asking my engineer some questions. So why is that <clears throat> the roads in this town of Rundu are continuously in bad shape? Is it that we are giving them little resources? Is it, is it a lack of planning on the town council <laughs> side? Is it, a, is it an issue on our side? Rondo Mayor Gabriel Kanyanga says a contractor was appointed but is yet to establish the site. Kanyanga blamed the delays in implementing projects to the disparities in the commencement of financial circles between that of government and that of local authorities, which starts in April and June respectively. I might not use it as an excuse. Yeah, it's uh, maybe an over, uh, of oversight uh, on the technical department. It's uh, good that we happen to be aligned by the CEO of uh, Road Fund Administration, who will also be able to be as politician to ask the staff members what's going on if we are given money and we are not utilizing it. Kanyanga says Rundu has been without a town engineer since mid last year, which makes planning and supervising projects difficult.